Ronin Liberty has a classless system. So in this video, I want to go over all the footage we have so far to see what weapons we can get in Throne and Liberty. For example, you can equip any weapon in Throne and Liberty and mix and match them. So let's take a look at what weapons they have available for us so far. So the first weapon right here is the Greatsword. Greatsword is nice and bulky, everything we would expect from a Greatsword. If we take a look at some of the skills they show us, looks like we can parry with the greatsword and then counter attack with the jump attack of a sword. So pretty, pretty good. But that's the greatsword. Not a lot of lot about it yet. We don't know a lot about it, but looks pretty decent to me. Everything you would expect from a great sword. Moving on to the next one. Obviously, it's the staff for mages. This staff is a lightning staff, it seems. You can fire lightning. If you look closely, you can see it's also raining on the right hand side. And when it's raining, you'll see that the lightning can bounce between the enemies. So pretty cool. I think it's pretty decent. Obviously having a great staff. Pretty good. I really enjoy it. There's another magic weapon coming up. But first, this is the staff. Let's move on to the next weapon and take a look. This weapon is the bow, of course. In every MMO, we do need a bow. So pretty cool. I think it's like a long bow almost, but I do think maybe you get short bows. Since in some of the footage, you, it does look like the, some bows are smaller. But we'll have to see. Maybe this one, the first one is just legendary that looks epic. But let's take a look. At the skills, it does seem like you can dodge away from your enemies. And then a rapid fire, but not completely sure. Overall, the bow looks decent. What else are you going to do But the range? Not, not like you're going to do close combat with it, but it does look pretty decent to me. Moving on to some dual wielding crossbows. Now, I don't see this a lot. I don't see this a lot in MMOs. So if they included this, really, really well done. This is probably more like a pistol than anything else. Unfortunately, we do not have a lot of footage for these crossbows. But I imagine making a vampire hunter build or something like that with some daggers. But let's take a look. So here is uh, some clip where the bows or crossbows actually shoot light damage. So they, they get charged and then they shoot light damage. It's more like a mage in a way. I'm not quite sure how they made this. But it's more like mage damage or light damage than anything else. Maybe this is just a mage and you can choose your abilities in a way. Or maybe this is just an ability and it doesn't shoot bolts. But still nonetheless it looks really really cool. And that's the crossbows dual wielding moving on to another dual wielding weapon is daggers obviously you can probably match this with your crossbows dual wielding crossbows but it's more an assassin weapon you can see the character shadow steps there and then closes the distance so really cool it probably also has stealth in a way because i have seen stealth in throne of liberty in some of the clips so maybe you can get some stealth from these. But definitely a shadow step of some sort. Closing the distance. And then using the dual wielding daggers. Moving on to another one that's popular in most MMOs. Is the sword and shield. Sword and shield looks amazing. Obviously the, the shield has a lot of space to work with. Where we can use the shield as decoration. But really really good. You can see. One of the skills is a chain. You can pull your enemies closer. I know in Elder Scrolls Online, the Dragon Knight also has this chain that you can pull people closer with. So really cool. And obviously you have the one-handed sword with the shield. And then there's a shield base as well. For example, I think he parries the attack. He blocks it. And then right after the attack his shield passes the enemy away from him so really cool looks like you can take a hit and then you can counter with a shield pass 
for example right there so overall sword and shield looks really really nice to me as well next up we get the spell book and the wand together unfortunately we do not have a lot of footage for this only a small bit but let's go over it to see the wand does seem like it does damage i'm not sure if it is the supportive clause since they do have the holy trinity in front of liberty i would think that the spell book would be damage but also maybe the cleric since if you look closely at the wand there is like a little cross on it maybe it means like healing or whatever but maybe you get different skill trees for different things healing might very well be the staff but so far the staff is lightning damage and i think fire damage as well you look at it in a little bit so we get the staff and then you can see well i mean the wand and the spell book you can see there's slinging some spells around and i don't see any healing but that's what we see let's move on to the next one this one i'm not quite sure about it is a hatchet this is just a little cinematic where the guy throws a hatchet into a boss so not quite sure what happens here maybe it's just a cinematic for example maybe it's a we pick up this hatchet and we kill the boss with it in a cinematic maybe we can't even wield it since I haven't seen any characters running around with in-game footage playing with hatchets but pretty cool nonetheless maybe we have this maybe we don't but if we did it would have been pretty cool to play like a berserker class with hatchets dual wielding hatchets but who knows but nonetheless pretty cool now the next one i'm really not sure about and this one is one-handed sword or one-handed long sword not great sword but if you look closely here is a mage attacking a bunch of pvp players and just owning them also does a fire spell it does have a staff on his back but you can see just owning these players with the one-handed sword on the back so it's not a dagger it's a sword of course since daggers are on the side but just they are just completely owning with this skill combos and just destroying them completely this is why i'm not sure about it in the next clip you can also see another one where the mage runs around it's the same one from before but you can see it's not a great sword it's more like a long sword or a regular sword on the mage's back so maybe we can wield one-handed swords without the shields and it will have different skills so quite interesting to me to see that i also saw it on i think the great sword let me go back to it i also saw it on the great sword sky's back where he only has one little one-handed sword on his back while wielding the great sword so pretty interesting to me and there wasn't any shield there so quite interesting there as well if you're excited for this game as well then don't forget to subscribe since i'll definitely be jumping into this game when throne and liberty comes out